Hey everyone, this is just a super quick video to talk about some of the issues you guys in the UK might be having with your Powerwall giving slightly strange meter readings to your energy provider. I thought I would share it with you guys because I remember reading some of the comments in the past as well as some other YouTubers channels that have a Tesla Powerwall too, how when you were comparing Kind of some of your power wall readings and your energy meter readings for your energy supplier that you were seeing variances in kind of consumption etc and it was kind of a bit strange and people were kind of worried about what was happening because they were seeing an increase in energy consumption more than they were expecting so turns out there may be an issue with compatibility between a specific energy meter and the tesla power wall too so the energy meter in question is a landis plus gyr E470 100 millimeter smart meter. So I put a little picture up uh, on the screen so you can tell if you have one of these energy meters, it may be why you're seeing uh, a variance of you know, plus or minus five kilowatt hours per day compared to what you expect uh, you should be using, what your meter is saying. So I'm assuming that Tesla will be reaching out to all Powerwall owners, but again, it's going to depend on how the power has been registered to you perhaps it's registered to the installer or, or whatever so that's why i'm sharing this so that you can follow up um accordingly so i just read the email so that you guys have exactly the same information as i do uh, and can take appropriate action so dear power owner we have received reports that under some circumstances there can be an incompatibility issue between the tesla power storage system and the landis plus GYR E470 100mm smart meter. In some cases, this may result in inaccurate utility meter readings. The impact varies, but could be up to plus or minus 5 kilowatt hours per day on some sites. Tesla Powerwall is certified to all appropriate standards for home storage systems, and the problem only appears to occur with this particular model of Landis Plus GYR meter. All other meters tested, including another model by Landis plus GYR meter, are unaffected. Where the meter has been replaced, no further issues have occurred. We are working closely with Landis plus GYR and energy suppliers to ensure this is resolved for power owners in the United Kingdom. If your energy supplier installed the Landis plus GYR E470 100mm utility meter at your property, we advise you to formally notify them through the complaint section on their website. For our records, we kindly ask you to register your power system through this link for follow-up communication. And I'll put a link down below for how you can register your power with Tesla if you haven't done already. So thank you very much for your understanding. Sincerely, Tesla. So there you go. Hope that helps. And maybe you have been one of these people that have been suffering a little bit uh, from those meter readings. Perhaps you're someone that doesn't actually check your meter readings that often uh, and you have this meter and you never realized that this was happening. So you could be getting overcharged potentially uh, i'm with octopus go well, octopus energy on the octopus go tariff and my um smets two meter is not one of these affected so i thought i'd uh say that again check maybe you have octopus and you do have one of these uh, impacted meter compatibility issues so hope that helps leave comments down below if you had this issue and most importantly if you got it resolved thanks for watching this video a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.